I felt very depressed. I felt very isolated from everyone. I felt so alone. <laughs> Uh, because of my parents' line of work, we had to move from place to place. And because of that, we also had to adjust. So, kami ng mga siblings ko, nasanay po kami na palagi kaming nagta-transition from place to place po. When we first moved from the province to Manila, I suddenly froze up. What happened was what they would call selective mutism. Whenever I would try to speak, I would lose the words to speak and bigla akong mahihirapan to formulate the words. And it was hard for me to make friends. So for the next six years of my life, I spent it feeling afraid of talking to people. People started labeling me as silent. I slowly started to believe na yun na talaga yung identity ko. One of my sisters kasi, she had one of these friends and she introduced them to me. I grew very close to that friend. Siya yung nagdadala sa akin to become more confident. And I thought that everything was fine. Uh, there was nothing wrong with me anymore because I had this person who was always by my side. But then, um, when this certain situation happened and that person grew distant from me, I started to see na without that person, ang hirap pala. <laughs> when she finally left my side, I felt like I was helpless. So. I would just cry to God every night and tell Him, Lord, can you please take me out of this situation? And that was the time when He would tell me, Nana, ako lang yung pwede mong sandalan. Ako lang yung kaibigan mo dito. God's assurance to me was, He's there for me because He's faithful. That was the time that God felt very personal to me. So before, when I used to be silent, I didn't try to explore, I didn't try to do anything that I could enjoy except maybe reading books, maybe writing. But after that opportunity that God gave me, I started to see that I could do so much more. And ever since then, I've been singing <laughs> and I like to write songs and currently, I'm taking up BA Communication, which is a course that requires talking, <laughs> requires public speaking. I'm also an advocate now for people who are voiceless. So I just continue to see how God is moving in me. And more than the things that I enjoy doing, He also gives me opportunities. Things that I wouldn't have imagined that I would do back then when I thought that I was silent. On my own, I don't think I would have been able to take on those challenges. Now, I can confidently say that my identity is with Christ because He sees my worth. And what I would advise to people, you are not limited to your personality. So whatever people try to label you, whatever people try to tell you about who you are, you don't have to believe that because what God tells you is more than enough. And that's the truth. The truth is that you are worthy. The truth is that you are loved. The truth is God has a great plan for your life. And nobody else is going to tell you what to do except God. If there are things that are making you question your worth, my assurance for you is kakayanin mo din yan. God is always proud of you. He has, he has been proud of you even before you did anything. And even before people believed in you, God believed in you.